When I was in high school, I had a job from 12 midnight to 8 in the morning. It was in a restaurant. And I would work that uh, midnight shift. In fact, I did that four years in a row all through high school. I would leave promptly at 8 o'clock in the morning to walk the 10 blocks to my high school. And around 8 o'clock, actually sometime before that, the morning manager would come in. And he would take the shift from uh, 8 a.m. throughout the day. One time he came in, his name was Sharice, he came in uh, around, I think it was 7 a.m. in the morning, and he said, Andre, I wonder if you would, can stay a little longer today because my breakfast guy uh, can't make it uh, this morning. And if you could stay maybe another hour, uh, that will help me through one of the most challenging periods in the morning. So I said, sure. I, I thought about making a few extra dollars, and I said, sure, I'd be happy to help you. So rather than uh, taking off at 8 o'clock in the morning, I um, put on an apron and I went back behind the grill and decided I would help Charisse with breakfast. And uh, around uh, 8 o'clock or so, I started to see the shift. I had never waited before for the breakfast shift. And I started to see these people coming in and, you know, all these people coming in in the morning with their newspapers and ordering breakfast. And Charisse started to, to shout out the orders. So I'm back there on the grill and he said, you know, let me have two eggs scrambled with uh, home fries and toast. So I said, okay, fine. You know, putting it together in the back, and it was going pretty smoothly. And then he shouted out, let me have a toasted bagel with uh, uh, cream cheese on the side. And I was preparing that. You know, shorter cook is, you know, can be intense. It was hot. I had worked the entire night. But it seemed like I really had this under control. And then he shouted out, let me have two, um, uh, two eggs sunny side up and uh, bacon on the side. And I realized at that moment that I didn't know how to make any eggs other than scramble. You know, I liked scrambled eggs. And it never even occurred to me that I needed to know how to make eggs that were not scrambled. Then he shouts out something again. Let me have uh, one over easy and uh, put, it up, put some whole wheat toast on the side. So these, these orders are starting to come through like crazy. And I made a split-second se decision. I said, oh, my gosh, you know, what am I going to do? I'm putting these, these orders up. And, and I realized, okay, I don't know how to do these eggs, so I'm going to uh, – I know what I'll do. I'll just scramble them. I'm going to scramble all these eggs. So I started to scramble the eggs. And, uh, you know, I, I got the bacon. I got the, the, uh, the toast. I got the, the um, sausages. And I'm scrambling these eggs, and I'm putting these plates together. And I'm starting to put these things up. Two eggs up. Uh, bagel up with uh, – a home fries on the side, sausage up, and I'm putting all this stuff up. And then I'm starting to hear this commotion out front. And I'm holding my head down because I'm hoping, I'm hoping that, you know, no one is noticing that they're not getting their order. But uh, needless to say, I hear this commotion, and I hear Charisse is talking to the customers out front. A few seconds go by, and I'm there, you know, scrambling more eggs. And uh, I look to my left, and there's Sharice. And he, and he looks at me, and he says, what's going on? And I said, what do you mean? He said, uh, this is supposed to be uh, sunny side up. This one's supposed to be uh, over easy. This one is uh, fried hard. What, what's going on? You're giving me all scramble. And I said, um, I, I don't know. I don't know. Sharice looked at me with this knowing look that you, you don't know what you're doing, do you? And he said, um, Ma'am, uh, sir, give me a few seconds. And he and he and he said, Andre, step aside for a moment. Let me see if I can and get this out. And he stepped up to the grill and started to whip it up himself. And I realized at that moment that not only did I not know how to make eggs other than scrambled, that I made a split second decision to try to fake it. And I'm wondering as I describe this to you, is this you? You know, in business and, and in the world today, a lot has changed. Technology has changed. Industries have changed. Markets have changed. And things are moving so quickly that it might be difficult to keep up. And you might be tempted to jump on social media, to jump on your marketing activities, to jump on your sales activities, and not really know how to do it. Not really know how to do it. I meet so many people who... When I coach them, when I speak to them in a seminar or a workshop, when I sit down with them and I talk with them about what's going on in their business, I have to get through this veneer of pretending that they actually know how to do it or that 
what I'm suggesting won't really work for them because they know better. I want you to listen, and I want you to listen carefully. Everything you want to know, everything that you need to know to advance your business, you can learn. It's out there. There are people out there. There's the knowledge out there. There's the technology out there. Apply yourself. Focus on it. Study it. Make sure you do what you need to do to compete in this market. Make sure that you're not scrambling.